you're one of my favorite guests. You're one of my favorite uh, comedians. And your career has just taken off. You're in a Zack Snyder film. You're playing Jet Reno in Star Trek. Yeah. It's insanity. It's it madness. <clears throat> <laughs> got a little gas? You got a little gas? You know what? You really do have action hero energy coming off you right now. <laughs> and it's really helped by the fact that your feet are dangling off the chair. Well, <laughs> Meet Jet Reno, yeah. everybody. I haven't even talked yet. I know. Um, <laughs> you know, my wife gives me a hard time about this because I do, I sit really far back in a chair and a couch and my mm -hmm. feet dangle. Is there any way I could get a, um, like a little stool or something to put my, no? That costs money, no. I'm willing to pay. That's money. Look, I, I got action hero cash now. <laughs> Please, is there a little stool? Is there something, yes. Oh, good. Oh, my God, oh. look at this. That is. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Why are you still moving your feet? I There's... don't know. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> You've accomplished nothing. You know, um, uh... I'm delighted to see you. And seeing you here reminds me that we've yeah. been here at the Largo Theater for how long, Flanagan, have we been here? We've been here a year. Is in Flanagan this... your sidekick now? Flanagan is, is working hard to replace <laughs> Andy Richter. <laughs> Flan, uh, Flanny, as we call him, runs the Largo Theater. And that's what working hard looks like. And that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and he's wearing his true Irish colors, uh, uh -huh. which is apparently a neon pink. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but you know Flanny well because you perform regularly here at the Largo Theater before the pandemic. Yes. This is like your second home. You must have very strong memories of this place. I do. This is, uh, what if I didn't remember anything? Like nothing rang a bell? Well, that's how I feel about this pandemic. Anything beforehand is a vague memory. Yeah, no, it, this is, I mean, is it cheesy to say my home away from home? Yep. Okay, well, that's what I'm about is cheese. <laughs> um, but it really is my home away from home. You perform here all the time. Not just that. Let me tell you something. You might not know this. But um, after my mother passed away, I inherited her furniture. And so all of her pieces were around our house. And Stephanie, my wife, was sick and tired of the couch. And she was like, listen, this has to go. We have to get a new couch at least. And so I had a hard time parting with it. And so I thought, you know what? I bet Flanagan would let me store it uh, backstage at Largo. So that's the blue couch that's been behind you on all your episodes. That's my family couch. This is your mom's couch. Yeah. And so then you <laughs> gave it to Flanagan thinking, can I store it? And of course. Now it's a TV star. It is a t <laughs> <laughs> You should see the fan mail that this I'm gonna couch gets. I'm going to put that uh, in the background of my action films and TV shows now. It's, and it's yours to take. Yeah. You know what I can't believe is Flanagan has filled this theater with, I don't know what else to say, knickknacks, bric-a-brac. Garbage. Garbage and junk. <laughs> I was convinced that, what is happening back there? Well, you know, we, shoot, uh, we shoot this show. What is that noise? Do you hear that? Yeah, it's on the street. Well, we're right off the alley. I know, we're right off the alley. Hello, come on in, who is it? I wouldn't say that because people have <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, who is it? Come out and show yourself. Who is it? Who's another truck unloading something? Hey, stop. <laughs> I like how my... Shooting here is ridiculous. There's an alley right here, and we're trying to take Covered this... up by only a curtain. Yes. There's, there's... And my interview is getting directed at a truck driver in an alley. Yes. You're like, hello, hi, how are you? <laughs> Say something. You're here. I'm over here being an action star. <laughs> In the number one movie in the universe, I and know. you're like talking to a truck driver in an alley. That's the level of show business we've sunk to. You don't to. know what you have. I don't. Well, I do know what we have. It's just we're <laughs> next to an alley, and I swear to God, they're constantly. It's like there's a bowling alley next door. Yeah. It's insane. That one sounded like people fencing. Somehow. Yeah. Like, it did clack, sound clack, like clack, 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 clack. There actually is a bowling alley next door.